In this video, we're going to explore chart.js and we're going to use array functions to combine together a array value which we would display on the chart. And this is really fun because now what we will really learn is how to apply JavaScript into the canvas in a more advanced level. So what we have here right now is a very bl blank template with test. As you can see here, test one, two, three. If I save this, you will see this is our template. All right. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to add up, well, not chart yes, but we're going to use Bootstrap to give a nice design here. And I tend to like Bootstrap 5 because this is a very simple, straightforward process. You can use any Bootstrap or any other thing you prefer. So let's click here on get started on getbootstrap.com. And once we are here, we go to introduction. Then we scroll halfway through, you will see here the starter template. And this is the template we're going to use. So click here on copy clipboard. And once we did that, we're going to paste this in here. And once we paste it in here, we're going to remove all the excess or the comment out text. We don't need all this code that is just only giving us a distraction. And I want to remove this hello world. We don't need that. And here we can say, for example, as title chart.js, which it is, of course. And then in here, what we're going to do is I'm going to give the background a green color. So I say here, class PG success. Of course, you should not even do it in the back, in the body tag, but for now, for simplicity's sake, I'm doing this. The next thing what we're going to do is the following is I'm going to create a card structure. What I want to do is I want to make the chart or the canvas should be in the card structure. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a div and this div, first of all, will be a column eight. So we push and make the card nicely in the middle, in the center of the website, and also away from the left and the right area. So we have here a column eight, and then I will say here offset, pushing it to the center, two. So there's two, two column space between the left and the right side. All right, so once we have that, we're going to put another div, and in this div, we're going to create the card. We have the card here, and this card will get a, a card, uh, what do you call it? A card body, sorry, I'm losing my uh, words. It's a card body, we're going to make a card body in here. So once we have this card body, in here we will put in the canvas. And what I want to do here as well, or sorry, here, in this column area, we'll put in a margin Y5. So we push the card more down and so there's some space between the top and the bottom so we have this card here and in here i will put in a text and the text is very simple it will be bar chart in chart js and then we put in a horizontal line here all right so in here will be the canvas so let's save this and go to our page refresh and there you are so it looks very simple, it's a very straightforward card. There's nothing special in that. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to explore chart.js and we're going to create or get this sam sample or the the, uh, uh, the starter sample here, which one they have here. As you can see here, they have here the canvas ID already and the canvas is the canvas ID. We're going to put it in here and this we will just give it a bar chart as name and I remove the height and the width, no need for that, that's not necessary. Next, what we need to do is we're going to copy this script text here. This script and the text all related to that draws basically a bar chart. So it's very simple, we copy this and I will paste this here below. I like to put it here below. All right, so once we did this, and the reason why I put it here below, because this is the bootstrap JavaScript, so in here we should put still the chart.js library JavaScript and then here we have the chart.js specific code for the chart. In here I want to change this to constant as a constant uh, or const f for constant because this is the more correct way to update it, the ES6 uh, JavaScript method. Remember here we have the get element by ID and what we need to do is which element are we getting? Well. Let's look, what is our canvas ID indicating? Bar chart. So we need to have this ID name matched. So we say bar chart here. All right. And then in here, if you click on get started or getting started, you'll see here below the 
Chart.js library and this is 2.8.0. I will copy this and then we will modify to the latest version. So what we're going to do here, we just put it in here and we say 2.9.4 and there we are. All right, so once we've got that, we can save this and let's check our HTML document. Refresh this and you can see now we have a very nice colorful rainbow bar chart basically. And this is the core. All right, so now we have now we have everything working. It's time to explore our JavaScript within. So the first thing what I want to do here is we're going to create an array. So how would you, let's be more specific here, how can we add values and combine them together? And this is a very useful skill to have. And I'm going to show you why. So imagine the following, we have two, two values here, two constants, and these constants are arrays. We have here, first year or half, first half, first half of the year, and we have another const is second half. And this const will have a few values in here, so let's make sure this is all correct. We create an array here, and this array is basically this information in here. Copy this in here, all right. And then we have another one here, and I'm going to remove all of this data in here. And this will be, let's say, 15, 20, 25, 10, 20, 15. All right, so we have six digits of six data points here, or six elements. And we have other six elements here, so that is correct. So if we will put in here, Basically, the following what we want to do here first is to insert one of those. So let's get this value here. We're going to insert it here. And we save this and let's refresh. And everything works fine. Nothing happens. And the reason why nothing happens is basically this is the same values. If we change this to this and save that and refresh, now you can see our data has been changed. This is 15. 20, 25, and then it goes down to 10, and then 20, and 15. So this is correct. So how do we combine them together? So if you see my other video where I talk about array concat, which basically means concatenation. If you're familiar with Excel, Excel uses concatenation to merge values together. And concat, another word for concatenation, is basically merging or merge. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge a cell using the command concat. So we say here basically the following. We first create the array or we select the array where we want to concatenate the other value in. So this is the first array. We want to make sure that these values are being displayed first and then we have the second values being shown afterwards. All right. So what we need to do here, we say here first half and then we say dot concat. And once we did concat, we have to hear the uh, parentheses, and in the parentheses, we will get the second half. Once we did that, we basically have the values that we want. And if we say now console.log, we can copy all of this together, put it in here, semicolon, save this, refresh, and now I say, wait, nothing happens. That's correct. We, we only insert it in our console log. So let's open up our console log. And I'm going to make this back to normal view, not from mobile version view. You can see now we have an array with 12 data points or 12 elements or 12 items, whatever you want to call it. You can see the length is 12. It starts from zero. Remember arrays are zero base counting or start zero base, meaning that zero is the first value and 11 is number 12 basically. And that's the last value. This is the array. So beautiful. It starts to show perfectly. So what we can do now is we can just basically get this. We can copy this entire command here, insert it in here, and let's save this, and then refresh. So let's see what happened here. We have the data concat. Oh, this apparently doesn't work, and the reason why it doesn't work, we need to give this a variable or a constant. Our constant in this case is year equals death. So we say now. Let's display year in here. So let's save that. Refresh, and now you can see um, it still doesn't work. Let's double check. 
All right, so after some digging, I realized why it didn't work. It makes sense because the values are correct. Even here, we could do the normal one. However, chart.js basically keeps on writing based on the amount of labels that we have, meaning that these labels should be extended. So why don't we extend it immediately as well? So what we're going to do is here, we're going to create a new label, and this label will be also a concat, an array that we concatenate together or merge together. So what we'll say here is a constant, and then we say here, uh, first month equals, and then we put in here all the month date, and then we have here another constant, this will be second month. Well, that's not really the right term, but you get my point. It's probably the, the last six month half. So what we're going to do in here, we say January, comma, Feb, comma, March, comma, April, comma, May, comma, and in single quotations, make sure you have single quotations. Why? Because this is a string value. Single quotations here, May, and then finally June. And then what we're going to do here is July, comma, August, comma, we have here uh, September, yeah, sorry, October, comma, November, comma, December. All right, so we save these. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to adjust this together. So we're going to first test if our labels or our value here first month is correct. So save this, refresh here. And now we can see here the monthlies. All right, that's correct. And then what we're going to do is the following. We're going to get this. And what we are going to do here is basically we're going to do a console log, or sorry, not console log, but we're going to constant this. And then what we're going to do is the following. We're going to combine these together. And these together will be all months. All months. And we save this. And then what we're doing here is we're going to get all of this. Save this refresh and there we are so now we've got these and you can see here now the colors are only missing which is not a problem because we can solve this as well so let's do that one now so now what we're going to do is let's start and adjust the colors as well colors is the same story basically we're going to copy here we have these here this is an array we can just duplicate the array or we just put them all together in a variable and we just match them together right now we can just put them in an easy variable we are just going to cut this out and then i'll say your constant and you say colors a colors one and then after the other one will be colors two so yes that's it all right semicolon oh. and we have this one here that's fine that's fine just put it all together like that there we are and then we can do the same as well i will just for simplicity sake i'll just copy this here put here number two and cut all of this out and insert them all here together paste it in here remove this there we are and i'll just leave this for now this is fine so what we're going to do now here same story is cons or we don't even need this basically we can just for simplicity sake, we're just going to copy this here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put it in here in the background color and in the in the in the background colors we just copy this variable here and then here and just copy this again. Remove this, copy all of this together, paste this in here as well. Let's save it and see how this will look like. All right, apparently this doesn't look very well because it starts to become a big mess. However, that's all right for now. And of course, we have here the console log. Sorry, we don't need this. We don't need the console log. That's probably the reason why it didn't work. Let's save this. That's why we see it all here. It doesn't show. And these are all the colors here. They should be slightly readjusted, but uh, you're ready. Yet the most important point is basically here the concatenation or concatenate an array. So if you like these kind of videos, 
uh, subscribe to my channel where I go deeper in multiple of these different topics consistently about Chart.js and if you have any questions put them in the comment section below and if you really like this when you want to go deeper in Chart.js check out my Udemy course below in the comment section you can find the link directing to the Chart.js course on in Udemy.